All hail Prince Cray, said no one in the white horse veil, where we shall start our tale. The boy, the soldier and the beast declared that on Prince they wished to feast. Why do you ask? How dare they, you think? I let them explain that important link. As the eyes are dark and the moon is bright, the kindreds of the tale are dwelling the night. How did he survive all those years if he's always fucking late? <laughs> Are you really asking me? Ask him. He will know for sure. Believe me, I would ask him if only Senor Tate would show the fuck up. Here's your chance. That's definitely not his car. So it must be him. Now you know why he is late. He went shopping for a new car. And believe me, at this time, at night, in this shithole, it is very, very difficult. The car has arrived at the forgotten place where the plot begins in dangerous ways. Hey, Pendejo! Who the fuck do you think you are? What was that statement? You wanna get us killed? His name is Malcolm Tammy Tate. That statement was our funeral. Apparently, yes. And most importantly, why you are late again? You left me here with a drummer boy for three fucking hours. Yeah, yeah, had a few bumps on the way in here, but it's all right now, I think. Stop crying, Wolf, it's not a full moon yet. Need to talk, hop in. As the whole Shire knows, Phineas Fleming was executed three nights ago. Yeah, blood hunt. Besides, who gives a fuck about some Toriador turned to ashes? I heard he deserved his fate. One, it wasn't the blood hunt. Two, this Toriador was my friend. Three, no one deserved it. Okay. Got it. Crane ended your friend. But calling to arms through internet? Showing your face? Talking in the name of whole clan? That's local Tate! Local! Yeah. Tate! Pure, fantastic, 100% local. What was it, if not Blood Hunt? Fucking Corrida? Stretching, merely an exercise, test that had to be passed before entering. Nice car, Tate. Eh? Expensive? No, mate, it wasn't. Crane is gonna look for you. He's gonna look for us. He's a prick, but he's not stupid. He might have someone in here already. Any kindred that steps into my veil will get fucked straight in a bloodline, especially Crane's Muppets. That's what we're afraid of, Tate? All of that for that Fleming's guy? Did you and him <laughs> have a bromance or something? We had similar course, we had business, and he had pieces of information that I needed. First of all, let's make some funk jewelry. Any idea who burns this amigo of yours? I am sure that the death wish came out from Crane. I don't know who executed the order, but we need to find it out sooner than later. Drama. Do any whispers regard that in the mail? Are you fucking joking? It is fucking Radley, Tate. People in here still adjusting to having internet, mobile phones, and equal rights. But I know a guy in Cullen. 
who might know something. He ain't cheap, so I hope that Fleming left you some savings. Let me talk to the guy. I'll get us a discount. The Claw Discount. Get as much intel as you can. I will organize the veil. Gather up others who might help. So, you will talk politics with coteries from Caldcut and Northcourt? Drink some red tea with them while I and the puppy will do some real men's work, huh? Leave the car now. Oi, Bruce! It's me! Open up. Go fuck yourself, Duncan. As the gangrel stood still, he felt an urge to kill. And no words were spoken, till the doors get broken. He grabbed this poor lad, as the beast get real mad. He controlled himself in a quick while, looked at poor bastard, and smile. Duncan here said that you may know something that we would like to hear regarding the recent events in Throp Lake. So talk now. Duncan, who is that bloke? Who is going to pay for those doors? Why would I tell you anything? I ask questions. You answer. If you don't understand that, then we have a problem, essay. Listen, I know how you feel. I've been in your position before and I died just like you will. It would mean a lot to both of us if you wouldn't make it harder than it has to be. I didn't know that killing him was part of a plan. Like I said, Tell us everything, including where did you buy that guitar stand? Because I love it. Hey, hey, hey. I work for Herman Brooks. He will be looking for me. <laughs> That's great. Now, Flemings, tell us about him. Mr. Brooks used to call him his little rose. Mr. Brooks figured out that he was a copper who sniffed around, around Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks didn't like it. Mr. Brooks... Uh, what the fuck is going on in here? <sighs> Sorry, puppy. That's all I can get us. I'm still new at this shit. Just wait in the car, <laughs> Duncan. As the drama left them behind, his humanity has turned blind. He approached the car with an awkward smile, as the gangrel showed his bestial style. In a few seconds, Bruce was no more. Not like any kindred would care for. That will be a clear message to Mr. Brooks. More likely, that's a very clear message to Mr. Tate. Okay? You just pig slaughtered a guy in his domain. I'm sure he won't be pleased. It wasn't just a guy, it was a spy. Come a real spy. Yet, nonetheless, still a human. And other humans will be looking for an answer to what happened to him. I really think that you should be the one telling me such stuff, not the other way around. I honestly don't give a fuck about all of that. I've got bigger issues. You sound like a proper sabbat, Senor G. Got some history of those lands? <laughs> if I would, you would be dead already. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm already dead. Mr. 
Meanwhile, in the Abingdon North Court domain, Malcolm Tate tries to summon against the rain. Yet no kindred dares to turn against Prince Crane, so all the efforts turns in vain. Frustrated and with fury fulfilled, turned to the Rats Guild, an old and noble Nosferatu blood, to expose that the prince is a fraud. Nosferatu sons and daughters, Rats of Northcourt, I need an audience with many eyes and many ears of yours. I'm Malcolm Tate, and I need to... We know who you are. We knew who you were. We will know what you'll become. That's great. I need your kind of weapon against Oxford Prince Crane. I need information regarding Finn's final death. I want to know who killed him. Want? Want doesn't give. You look for the one who burned Cainite near the Trap Lake. You should ask what to do to not know of him instead. Oh, for fuck's sake, will you help me or not? Greetings and salutations of gargantuan proportions, Mr. Tate. My name is... You can call me Lord. Or just simply Red. Hello? Uh, thank you for showing up. You may be the very first person in centuries thanking me for showing up. Normally, I only hear appreciation when I disappear. Now, let's talk business, Malcolm. I know... Correction, we know who you are. No one denies your right to the veil. Yet the matter is bigger than that. I am happy to aid you however I can, but we cannot interfere. That could bring the war between the domains. As a token of my loyalty to you, what you call it, calls, I will tell you of the last minutes of Fleming's unlife. But not here, not tonight. We need more secure place. We need the presence of others in case whispers turns to shouts. And that's the start of the whisper that will bring only despair. Blood, vengeance and murder in one. Straight in the beginning of the plan. Episode 1 is done. Now hide before the dawn.